Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin Eknes here and today we are going to further our hybrid picking skills. So if you haven't checked out the part one of the technique lesson about hybrid picking, then I highly recommend you checking that out before diving into the content of this video. Basically what we're going to start off with is develop some independence in your ring finger and one way to do that is you could play varied scale or step-like melodies but and keeping like one constant drone note that keeps the rhythm going and only let go of that drone whenever you're picking with your ring finger. So an example could be um, three, four. For instance, super simple. That's actually the national anthem of Norway, but for this exercise, it's perfect. So slowly it would be This end up for solids in there to the one. But yeah, that is getting into some of the more kind of like the triplet and then has like a one target note that you do with chicken picking pretty often. You've probably heard. And so that, it would be like a triplet. But and it'll really work up that because it really needs to be like a quick little triplet with your right hand and then basically in an improvisational point of view you hold one note within whatever tonality you're in so in case of like this A we could hold the note on the third you could either mute it just hold over it mute it like that or you could mute it with your right hand or you could even do it gives a certain sound with this. Or it gives a different sound if we hit the A with the on the A string. It just depends on what you're going for, really. As soon as some of those independent things are a little bit more comfortable to you, you put it into context. So you could play in whatever you're working on, like you could make a solo with it. You could even use it in just chord progressions. Let's say you have a chord progression just six, two, five. The way you can work on it. For instance, developing our hybrid picking skills, we can take a look at some of the signature country pedal steel kind of licks. What those require is control over your bending and then you're just using a double soft basically and bending with that. The first part to know is the difference between a whole step and a half step bend. Half step. Next thing is to make a little phrase that can be played over two sets of strings and on the higher string set or the, the higher note string set the note needs to stay constant and then we're bending up with the lower string and what we're going to use today is going to be the phrase of so we'll be hybrid picking on the B string and then using the pick on the G string going up the E mixolydian You could make your own phrases like that. There's really no limit on how you could use this. You could use it in all sorts of improv. Just make your own lines like. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson. I hope it gave you some new inspiration and ideas of how to further develop your hybrid picking. And let me know what you think in the comments below, if it was helpful at all, what you would like to see next, and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you very soon.